what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you some of my favorite hair care products if you want to tune in just keep on watching and before i go my name is christina if you guys are new to my channel hello and welcome and if you guys are returning family welcome back to my please don't forget to subscribe like comment and hit that bell for every time you get notified once I upload a new video. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into this. These little cute glasses, by the way, I got them at Pop Shelf. So if you are interested in finding some glasses that have UVB light for whenever you're using technology like your phone, computer, basically on the screen a lot, you wanna get some that are like this. They're really good and they do help the eyes. Just a FYI, I'm not sponsoring anything. I just got these and also because they're cute and I wanted to get the aesthetic. I'm not ready for glasses just yet, but they're still cute. I'm gonna talk to you just a little bit more. I know I don't have makeup on, but it's because I wanna share with you guys some of my favorite skincare products that I've been using at the moment. But before we get started on that, I am going to test my favorite hair products. And I wholeheartedly use these products, not just on my own, but as well as on my daughters because they really do help. And it really does make a difference. Now, even if they're not watching, Day, if you're watching, please sponsor your girl. And it is the Day family. It is the Day Fruit cactus three in one cream i also have the styling one and i have the fairy duster i'm gonna tell you between all three of these these right here are my favorite and if you don't know this one here i'm almost done with it i'm basically here because i just used it on myself and as well as i use it on my daughters whenever i get them ready for school it's really good whenever you want like those nice slick back buns like as y'all can see my nice cute little cyclette buns little ponytail even use this like on your hair wet and it gives you like this nice beautiful moisturized look to your hair especially if you're a curly hair girl this product is super good and it'll help out it's super helpful and i really do like this and it has the best smell to it finally one is also another favorite of mine because all you have to do is really just hide away all the baby hairs or the flyaways that come the only issue that i have that disclaimer about this is the wand i really wish that they would probably like work on this situation because the wand itself is just too flimsy and it's too soft where you can't really get that nice slick baby hair back because i always have issues doing it on my daughters as well as for me on the go and it does slick your hair back like if i give you guys an example it does help a little bit of the hairs the difference i will say is if you do use this product itself make sure that you wet it because if you don't then it just leaves like a little bit of a white cast i don't know why it does that because the cream doesn't do it to me and maybe it's because i also like to use water whenever i do my daughter's hair but i would just say that if you're using this product I really do like these products but if you are on a budget and you're trying to save you some coins and really want to try something that is really worth it i would highly suggest to try the mini ones and see what you think about them but so far these are my favorite and i wholeheartedly use this i also use the fairy duster not as much but this does help whenever i do like little blowouts and it helps my hair keep it voluminous and less heatless like damage the sephora cells coming up i'm gonna leave the viv insider and as well as uh there's another one, but I forgot all the names, but I'm gonna put it right here so you guys could check it out. But if you really, really want to go out and get you something really good, that's gonna be worth it, hair product or makeup product, I will highly suggest this one in particular because this is my second bottle and I'm almost done. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be going to buy another one as well as this, I'm almost done with this. One is really good as well. I will repurchase from this, but this one is my favorite and I highly, highly suggest this one because it's really good and it does give you that slick back look that you want in your hair so yeah look out for sephora cells and don't miss out on them next hair products i recently found out and i've seen them and i've been obsessed they're super affordable if you're not into trying to buy anything expensive like the day products but if you really want to find something affordable for you or your girls or anyone in particular that has hair i would highly suggest the not your mother brand these brands right here 
top tier. My favorite one is this gel. I've been using this gel nonstop and I'm almost through with it because I use it not just on my daughters, but I use it on my sons as well. And it gives like the most nice gel consistency. And it's not so thick like other gels that they kind of make it too thick and then they start like giving you like flaky looks, like you know, those little white casts. It doesn't do that. This one is super soft and it still gives you volume and the smell. Yes. So good. Like the smell is so good and my kids don't complain. They never complain because they usually complain when it's like smells and this one does it. And I really enjoy this because I also use this on my eyebrows. Can you believe that? And it gives me like a nice cute look to my brows. Next one is my favorite one. I even have the mini. I don't know where is that. Oh, here. This is the baby. <laughs> this one I got at Target and then this one I got at my local um, store. But these two travel size bigger size they are my favorite i thought this was a spray when i found out this is literally a conditioner it's a conditioner and all you do whenever you have flyaways or you're trying to get like that slick back look or something to hold your hairs or to make it smell this literally does that and that like it's a heat protected so if you're gonna use like any or blow dry heat tool that you're gonna use this will protect your hair and I use this a whole lot, especially when I get out the shower after washing my hair and I put this in my hair. It just leaves my hair smelling so refreshed, so good. And it also detangles. That's another one. It does detangle my hair so good that I, I, I'm I obsessed with this. The smell is great. It doesn't leave any white cast. Of course, you gotta wet it if you want to make sure that it doesn't leave anything because if let's say you just spray it like this, and you just leave it like that of course it's gonna show up and you're gonna notice it but if you get like water and then you like mix it in with your hands and then you smooth it out it's gonna look really good i really love the smell of it and i'm almost done i still have like more in here but <laughs> i'm going out of it a lot because i have girls and i have to have hair products because i need them for their hair so they can have nice cute hairs when they go to and my kids they're gonna look presentable they can't be looking crazy. Not not with not with their mommy. We're not gonna do that for the Sanchez. That the next thing is gonna make you guys laugh so much is the Not Your Mother Beach Babe. I got this spray. I rarely use it a lot, but I'm getting used to it. At first, when I first purchased it, I thought it was a hairspray. I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was a hairspray and I didn't look at it. And then when I would um, do like little blowouts, when I went to Texas for a game, I used this on my hair. And when I did my blowout and everything and I left the rollers in and it was time for me to get ready to go, I put this spray on thinking that it was a hairspray and I realized that it was not a hairspray and i was like why are my curls not curling like the my beach waves like why my why is my hair not like going the way it's supposed to and it was all because it's a dry shampoo read it afterwards i was like oh now it makes sense and now i know not to put this on but it's also really good because i have also used this whenever i will like flatten out my hair or i'll do like a different style of hair this has helped make my hair last for maybe two to three days and it doesn't look dirty or oily. So I really do like this hair product. I have it in a mini size as well. And my favorite scent is the Toasted Coconut. We I do have another scent that I um, purchased at Target, but so far I like coconut smell. I think that smells really good. So this brand is really good and they're affordable and the smell is great. Like it just, like it just does it. And the little sprint works like it's like pretty hard but but it gets the job done so this is another hair care brand that's super affordable if you're not trying to spend way too much money rarely use this because i have like a love and hate because at first it i bought it because i do like the hype and all and i realized that sometimes you can't just go with what other people are doing because it's not always about the hype so even though i used it on my hair sometimes when i do need those flyaways to be like super slick back and i'm not using gel i'll go in with the ikt um tiktok i've seen this 
trend so many times, even influencers that have used this. And it's a really good product. I use this on the girls, but I don't use a whole lot because then it starts to strain their little hairs and then it creates like that white cast that I don't like. So I only use just a little bit or I'll like put like on my fingertips a little bit and then I kind of smooth out their hair whenever I'm doing like a ponytail, a bun or something in particular. I use this just a little bit. I did use it when I put on my glasses. I put it like on the sides so that way my hair stay in place and they don't move but this is a really good one it's on amazon i don't know the price for it but it's a really good product and it's affordable so if you're not trying to spend too much on a wax stick i highly suggest this one because because i bought two thinking that i was going to finish it because i i did have another wax stick but overall if you buy two is worth it i would just highly suggest if you're going to use this just use a little bit because you don't want your hair to look too greasy another hair product that is super quick and easy i'm gonna just get it out the way it's gonna be the agua net this is pretty affordable because right now i can't afford the red can because it's very expensive but if they want to sponsor me i would gladly appreciate that but this one here is affordable and you can find this at any local store. I use this for all my blowouts and whenever I do like little nice wave, beachy wave looks. This doesn't have the best smell, I'm going to be honest, because it smells like baby diapers. Uh, wait, hold on. It No, it smells like the wipes. I just can't think of it, but it's reminding me of babies and it's like, ugh, no, I don't want to be reminded. I don't want to be reminded. That's like trauma but either way it's a good spray it holds up as much as it can and i like it i mean i sometimes don't like to use a whole lot because like i said it does give off a little diaper smell that i don't like that's why i always go in with this one because it it locks in for me and it gives me a better smell but this one it, it holds really good so if you're not trying to spend way too much and you want to spend like maybe five dollars or less the aguanet this one but if you have any recommendations on other hairsprays or high-end, let me know if they work and let me know so I could go check them out and give you guys a better review if they're much better than the affordable one. I use this wholeheartedly every single day and constantly. I never stop. This brand, I am like locked in, like we are BFF. Like this is a brand that I love so much because they are super, super good. And their products are all fruit based as well as vegetables. If you haven't seen it and you haven't been watching my shorts, you got to go and check it out. But it's Commune. I have all their products, but usually there's always that favorite product and it's this Commune essential face cleanser this cleanser is my favorite i use this it has helped my acne from so many other products that i've been using it is great it's on the yuka app and if you were to scan this this will give you a green meaning that is super good for the skin and it's not non-comonogenic is acne safe so you don't have to worry about it being like irritating this here is super soothing like yes you're gonna get overwhelmed with the smell because the smell is a little bit like you'll take back like i did at first because i was judging i'm not gonna lie but once you apply it it doesn't do none of that like the 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 scent of it is really not gonna irritate your skin at all i thought it was and it, it didn't and i really do like this because this here has improved so much this is my second bottle i will say my second bottle but if you are interested in wanting to check out commune or if you want a discount please let me know dm me and i'll give you like a discount code on it either way i really do like this brand so much and they are also so lovely because they reached out to me when i first started and i really like this brand and they're really good i'm they're really good. Done. I'm going to remove the glasses off. As y'all can see, my hairs are coming out. So we're going to put them behind us. And y'all already know, I like to use Agua for it. This is the only eye product that I've been using so far because I have not found any other eye product that really has been helping under my eyes that don't have any fragrance and that's non-irritating. Because usually when I put something on under my eyes and I want it to be like super moisturizing, it never works out and it always leaves me like little dry patches and then it starts irritating because the chemical of that cream. So this Aquaphor has been helping me so much 
and it really does help moisturize underneath. I even used this when I went to the car when the sun was like beaming on me and I had so many friends and TikTokers that was telling me that my under eyes was glowy. And that's just to tell you how good this product is. You can even use this under your concealer. It gives you the best balm application ever. So if you want something that's affordable and you don't want something irritating your eyes, especially if you're like someone like me that has ojeras or under eye situation, Agua 4 is your friend. I just put it on because, you know, I'm going to get ready and I'm going to show you guys because I didn't put any makeup on and I've been breaking out because one, <laughs> my period decided to come yesterday and two, I've been eating stuff I wasn't supposed to like sugar so that also was the trigger and three I've been trying out new products so my skin was like hold up hold up hold up hold up stop stop it stop it right now you're using too much so that's why I have this going on but so far they've been getting better I do have to get some pimple patch my Mayu pimple patch so yeah that that I had to take a trip to Target to go and get those things but other than that I'm gonna tell you what are my favorite top monthly skincare products that is my perito my perito these these are everything every they're super affordable these are the top favorite of mine that are acne prone and that won't irritate your skin i'm telling you this is the brand i use a lot i know you see all my videos that have perito in it because I don't want to say holy grail, but it really is. It really is because I use this a lot and I wouldn't lie to you guys if I didn't like a product. And I really, like, it has improved so much on my skin and I don't break out like I used to whenever I would put on like tons of makeup back then. Like this product, I remember seeing it one time, wanting to try out the SPF and they didn't notice me then, but I still love their SPF. And then once they noticed me, they reached out and they sent me their skincare line. And I've been obsessed. This in particular, the Pathalon, is really good. Go in order. The Unscented Sal Relief Serum is ugh, it's the best. Because not only is it a serum, it's super lightweight and it's soothing on the skin. And it has Centella, so it's going to help, help soothe the skin and make it more soft and smooth and not so greasy like because there's other brands let's be honest that once you put on a serum it just creates like this greasiness and even my husband hates seeing greasiness on the face because he's like why is your face so greasy so when I started using this product he has told me that my skin looks really good like it looks like my skin and not that like there was like oil all over my face it's also calm and it helps irritated redness so I really do like this a lot and I love the pump because it gives you everything you need I only use about like two pumps and I go about my day and then I just rub it in. I use this day and night, you guys, day and night, because this stuff is really good. Pathanol cream recently came out, but has been also one of my favorite. I use just this amount on my, my finger and then I just add it to my face. This is how much I use day and night in the morning when I wake up and when I have to get the kids ready or if I, I do that really quick and you can see when I usually get ready and stuff, I'm always like rushing, but I like to drag this down. It's also a really good cream because this turns into like water. So if you notice, I applied it, but it didn't feel so heavy on the skin and it the consistency is super good it is a cream but it also strengthens that skin barrier that you lost like sun damage or acne issues like for example me i put this on and it clears up in about a week and i start to see a lot of results and it's really good it's also i will say it's also a barrier to reinforce moisture retention I will highly, highly suggest that you start moisturizing a lot more because we are going to lose a lot of that moisture in our skin because it's going to get cold. But if you're drinking water, that's that's really good, sis. But still, moisturize your skin no matter what because sometimes we lose a lot of that moisture and our skin sometimes is calling for us to 
reapply and get that moisture going again. So I use this also to give me that moisture back because even though I have combination skin, I still need a little I need radiance. I need glow. I need something to drench me with water so that my skin feels more moisturized and less dry. So that is another good one. And lastly, y'all already know, I use this every single day, every single day. This is the SPF. It's also great for my girlies that have acne prone skin and it's not greasy, it's not heavy. It's not gonna give you that flashback. It's not gonna give you that white cast. It is great for all skin combination and it leaves such a pretty glow. I use this every single day, day and night, and it does leave my skin super beautiful, glowy, radiant, and not greasy. So as y'all can see, it has blended in so much. I even use it on my, my palms and my hands too once I finish everything, but this product is so good. There has not been other products that have like done the work as much as Pareto did. And I really, really do enjoy these products. So if you are on the hunt to look for some Korean brand and you want to find like the right thing and if you're like acne prone and stuff, I will highly suggest Pareto. Check them out because they're really good and they do the job. And these three, this is all you need. You don't need that much. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys those favorite things of mine. If y'all have any comments or questions on some body or hair care, please let me know. Other than what I just show you guys, let me know down in the comments or if you want me to try out some new things. So I wanted to share with you guys just a little snippet of this video of what I actually use and what's really affordable. But ladies, if you do wanna save some coins and y'all ready to spend a little bit for some hair products, I will highly suggest, or even makeup in general, I will highly suggest to save up your money by November 5th if you are a VIB, insider, or a VIP, please save so that you can get these savings at Sephora and you can buy either the mini size or the actual size and try them out. Me personally, I'm excited. I can't wait because all I'm gonna pretty much buy is just the same thing that I usually get because that's what I really use. I don't use anything else. And you guys know that if I don't use it, it's not good, no bueno. I hope that y'all got to enjoy that. I know this was like a super quick video. There will be plenty of more videos. Usually I'm supposed to get ready and show you guys my favorites, but I was like, mm, I'm gonna do my skincare today and do a little bit of work and that's pretty much it. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys got to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any other recommendations, anything like that, please let me know, comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. Los quiero, los amo. Besitos. I love you and I'll see you guys on my next video.